fuck did he watch, man? <laughs> fuck, man fuck, 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 I can't, I can't fuck, even fuck, hear that. All right, what you got for these trailers? And it better oh, not be a trailer about no e Man, how'd you know? If e was real, all all these little kids would be thinking that they see some teddy bears, and next thing you know, they they somebody in lunch. Or dinner. You know, and it's funny because just to, to stick on, on, on topic, and since we're talking about eating, the first trailer that I got is for a film called The Menu. So how's that for working things out unscripted, man? We do, we do, we, 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 we getting good at this stuff, fellas. <laughs> so, so the, the first trailer is uh, for a film called The Menu. Uh, it drops November 18th, 2022. And um, pretty much synopsis wise, I'll get into the cast after the synopsis. Uh, synopsis wise, it's a young couple travel to a remote island to eat an exclusive, I'm sorry, to eat at an exclusive restaurant. You brought this one up before, didn't we? Where, nah, I just, I put it on the. Um, Maybe but, I brought this movie up in the news at one point. Oh, uh, okay. Like Dang. So, uh, <laughs> I'm starting to start the synopsis of, of So, it's a young couple travel to a remote island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu with a, some shocking surprises. And it's crazy because it looks all like, like the chef looks all like Gordon Ramsay and Hell's Kitchen and stuff. And uh, these, these, unsuspecting couple and all these other patrons of this restaurant um, don't know really what they're in for outside of you know an exquisite meal and then whatever happens happens we got to watch the movie to find out but uh cast wise it's got anna anna taylor joy uh ralph phineas uh nicholas Holt. oh is that how you say his name yeah no oh, all right cool wait Ray Fine, Ray, 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 Ray Fines. Yeah. yeah, I wrote it down as Ralph Phineas. So that yeah, no, yeah. That looks too much. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, Nicholas Holt, um, Hong Choi, Janet uh, McTeer. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and it's it's uh, directed by Mark Mayloyd. Like I said, November 18th, oh, 2022. Shit. The menu, check it out. Um, okay. Next one I got, I'm excited for this film. I love sports films. Love when they're based on actual events, true stories, and or real people. True um, this story. One, oh, oh, man. This, <laughs> this one is called <laughs> The Royal. Uh, it's going to drop for us on July 15th. Um, and pretty much it uh, follows the oh, problem. Let yeah. me guess what sport this is. This is probably baseball. Well, you waited until... <laughs> It follows the promising career of Kansas City Royals slugger Willie Mays Aikens. Um, and uh, it, 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 it quickly, it, 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 his career quickly turns disastrous because of a drug addiction. Sentenced to prison, Willie seeks redemption with his estranged family, friends, and ultimately with himself. See, he gonna strike out and be like, "Teach a man, man how to squabble." <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, but this is based on a true story, and um, you know, it does it does look good. Um, as far as cast wise, we get Lisa Ray. Um, you know, everyone. Everyone <laughs> has seen the Players Club knows who Lisa Ray is. So we got that going on, which I'm all on board for that. Um, we got, um, it looks like his name is A. Amen, Amen, Joseph. Lil Youngin, uh, his name's Dallas Dupree. Uh, I can't remember where I seen him, but he's a, he's a young actor. Seen, seen him in this trailer. trailer. I seen him in this trailer. <laughs> that's why That's why it's so fresh in my brain. Um, but like I said, um, it's going to drop for us on uh, July 15th, 2022. Directed by uh, Marcel Sarmento. Bang, bang. Next trailer we got coming. This one, I'm having a lot of fun bringing this up. I've been showing people at my job uh, this trailer. Um, it, it, Man, it made me feel dizzy. I got a thing with heights, but I'll ride roller coasters because of the false sense of security. You know, they buckle me in. I think I'm safe. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> but if I climb three steps up a ladder, you got to call somebody to help me down. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's, it's, it's awkward. You know what I'm saying? My mind works in a very significant kind of way. But this film that I'm about to talk about is called Fall. Um, like the season, um, but uh, it's going to drop for us. Oh, that's funny. Fall is going to drop for us on August twelfth. Twenty twenty two. Clever man. Bang, bang. Yeah, I just did that. I did that off the fly, dog. I kept going. <laughs> <laughs> it's directed by. We all drinking. 
Oh, Foster's Australian for awesome. Yeah, man. We <laughs> <laughs> it would probably have been better safe if we wasn't waiting for you. <laughs> but, but, uh, but yeah, we're almost empty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's why I switched over to my, uh, oh, my, my, my vape apparatus. But uh, nevertheless, uh, it's directed by Scott Mann, Two Thrill Seeking oh, Women. God. <laughs> push life and its fears to the limits but after they climb 2,000 feet to the top of a remote abandoned radio tower they find themselves stranded with no way down now their expert climbing skills will be put to the ultimate test as they desperately fight the elements the lack of supplies and the vertigo inducing heights all at the same time Whew. third so time is a charm but nevertheless the, the trailer is intense it just keeps going up 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 uh, anyone who has uh, heights, you know, things, you know, just just sit down before you watch it. I mean, but it's cool, though. It feels like riding a roller coaster, man. It was, um, that was a very I, I saw the trailer when I saw um, Jurassic Park this week. They It wasn't too much happening in it other than it just seemed just like they were going up. up. Yeah, just, just, they just uh, a very long zoom out. They go up so high. I mean, it shows the birds flying. They go past the birds, dog. Like, they go yeah. up really high man that's kind of weird though 2,000 foot this, I don't know if there's a real tower that's tall well, like, we I might have to it's, um, that's like, like skyscraper height man yeah well it's that's, that's it's, a, it's some high. towers in Birmingham like um, our television towers and stuff I think they might be around 2,000 yeah the, the no, tower I'm thinking of in Birmingham is sitting on top of a um, like Birmingham sits in a crater you can kind of see this tower pretty much all over the city and you don't understand this stuff. It's it's really high. It's yeah, like um, like a checkpoint. You can never get lost. Though, yeah, right? Some of some of them are just for for air aircraft or air travel. I think, you know, they, but this one already have little beacons and and yeah. towers and stuff like that. Yeah, but okay. uh, the place is called Beacon Parkway, where it's on. It seems like it's 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 going to be just simple as as what we see in the trailer and what's in the synopsis. I think it's going to take completely different approaches, like that film Frozen. Remember the one where they get yeah, that's, on the that's when I saw the trailer, that would kind of remind me of. Yeah, we 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 thought we all had that one figured out. I mean, it seems pretty, you know, case point, cut dry. But there was a lot more extra stuff going on. I think we're going to get that from this. So I'm actually really excited for this one. Um, the next one I got is a little sci-fi action because um, I don't really go out to space too much um, as far as the movies go. Uh, other other places in life, yeah, man. I'm you know I hang out with the stars, but whatever. Um, this one is called Vesper. Uh, it's going to release for, or it's going to drop for us on September 30th of this year. And as far as the synopsis goes, it's uh, it takes place after the collapse of the Earth's ecosystem. Vesper, who is a 13-year-old girl struggling to survive with the with her paralyzed father, meets a mysterious woman and meets a, a mysterious woman with with a secret that forces Vesper to use her wits, strength, and biohacking abilities to fight for the possibility of a better future the synopsis does the trailer no justice the trade the trailer looks cool looks like there's going to be a lot of cool like visual special effects um real spaced out tripped out kind of a you know world building going on so i'm on board man and it's an ifc film so you know anyone who anyone who watches the show knows i fully support anything that they do until i watch it and if it sucks i will let them know with a smile on my face moving on to the last trailer of today's session this is brought to us by netflix uh core actually put me on to this one we were both taken back when we saw this trailer looks very cool and it's a film called troll and uh there are other films that go by the same name you know trolls or whatever the case may be troll this hunter. one yeah troll hunter um we got troll from the one from the 80s and you also got that cartoon one if you throw an s on the end of it this is just troll if you want to look up the trailer it's easier way you can just go to our web page and you know check out the trailers because we put them right up there for you at the easy click of your own button or if you want to search it for your own self put Troll, teaser, Netflix, it'll take you right to it. Um, but all in all, this one is, um, it takes place deep in the, I want to say Dorvay Mountain. Um, something, something gigantic wakes up after a thousand years in captivity. The creature destroys everything in its path and quickly approaches Osio, uh, someplace in Norway. Um, I, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, awesome. But it kind of sounds like Godzilla. 
you know, in Ozzo. a sense, but this, uh, Ozzo, yeah, O S I O. Uh, it's a place, all I know is a place in Norway, and that's actually where this film was shot. Um, the whole cast, uh, a lot of them have, um, you know, names I, I can't pronounce, so I'm not even going to do uh, any injustice by trying to pronounce them. And the director, his his first name is Roar, so that's pretty badass. This one, uh, it is going to come on Netflix this year, but they <laughs> haven't dropped the release date yet. It just says coming soon this year. So Netflix is going to throw a curveball at us probably in the later year, uh, later months. You know what I'm saying? I think when the leaves, leaves start changing colors, we'll get to check out some troll and I'm going to be on board for that. And that's it, man. Trailer, folks. Uh, well, let's get into these uh, reviews.